Hey guys, DW Berman here with another quick video for Lightwave 3D. This week I'm looking at these two donuts that are these complex wireframe shapes. How did I make these wireframe cages? Well, if you go back to a video that I posted a while ago, I actually show how to use the strand maker to make one, and there are other ways to make it. But uh, I have since found another easier way. Uh, actually, I didn't find it. I saw it posted by somebody else on a forum. I don't remember who, though. It was a while ago. Um, but basically we have these two identical looking um, objects here but they're built completely differently this one over here on the right is actually made up of a bunch of two-point polygon chains if I switch over here to texture wireframe you can see hey it's just a bunch of two-point polygon chains the other object on the other hand is in fact, just a regular polygonal object. There's nothing special about the edges on them. It's just, you know, there's no two-point polygon chains in here at all. If I hit W, you'll see no two-point polygon chains. No two vertices, no polygons that are made up of only two vertices. So let's switch back to layout. How did I do this? Well, I'm glad you asked. I did it simply through the surface editor. I only have one surface in this scene, but you can see it's surfacing both objects. However, if I come over here to the advanced tab and I uncheck the render outlines, you'll see, well, look at that. This one over here remains a cage. This one over here is now looking quite solid. And if I turn the smoothing on, it'll be a nice smooth donut. However, yeah, this advanced tab, render outlines, it actually works with negative values to give you that perspective look. Now this is a change in Lightwave 11.5. Prior to 11.5, uh, you could still do this trick, I think, but whenever you zoomed back, the lines would just keep getting... Well, the lines would stay the same, so the same thickness no matter how far into the background you went with your viewport. So it, the lines did not change size with perspective, however, they do now. Um, I've typically only seen this, you know, used like that, where you are just basically doing a standard wireframe render, only it's using the surface value as well. So, yeah, just a little, little nice, little find by whoever it was, I can't remember who found it. The line size value and works in negative as well when rendering outlines. So this means you can make your nice wire mesh object without having to go through the whole other step of building a separate version of the object you know that whole other one step step of hitting strand maker or, or whatever it was so yeah it's another simple way to get this and also this will work with dynamics as well so you can you know bump things together and the cage will change shape it's a great way to make nets so um yeah thanks for watching uh, subscribe to this channel and uh, check out the videos I have at liberty3d.com. The links are in the description. So thanks. I hope this was great for you. Have a nice day.